Do you know that one third of the marine species live in Upper Reef? It is one of the richest marine biodiversity on the planet. You can almost see everything here. No wonder why it's considered as one of the top diving destinations in the world. So join us in today's episode as we bring you to the spectacular array of life here in Upper Reef. See you at the dive. Every dive is indeed a new story to tell and another exciting adventure to look forward, especially in a tropical and archipelagic country, just like the Philippines. Philippine Island holds abundant underwater marine life. Today, we will be discovering an exceptional diving destination here in Occidental Mindoro, the Upper Reef where almost 450 coral species and about 300 species of fishes and other marine creatures impressing every diver with their distinctive vital characteristic in marine ecosystem. Apo Reef is somewhat uh, triangular in shape. It is one of the biggest contiguous reef uh, in the world. It has an area of uh, around 20 kilometers by 20 kilometers uh, in terms of area. Dr. Patrick Kabaitan, a professor from Marine Science Institute of the University of the Philippines, explains to us its importance. Reef systems, because it's one of the most productive uh, ecosystems it's where we uh, usually get our I mean a lot of fish for food for many people uh, for many Filipinos and it's also becoming now uh, one of the uh, tourist attractions not just for Filipinos but also for uh, foreigners so it can contribute uh, significantly to the economy of the Philippines Our first dive site for today is at Apple Out. Welcome your first dive today it's called Apple Out. Welcome UNTV Dive Team. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. And welcome to Apple Ref. And this time we will do a wall dive. In that area they don't have mooring. That's why the boat will be closer to the ref and we will jump together and follow in the wall the, the, the islands in your right shoulder we go to the south portion after glenn's dive briefing we gear up and went down to see what makes upper reef as one of the best diving destination in the country Diving along the wall is very impressive, and for every diver, it's a great feeling. It's like hovering in the air. Watch 360 degrees around you. There is everywhere something to discover, especially from the deep blue, can come sometimes have big surprises. Not so long after we jump off, a graceful hawksbill sea turtle welcomed us. The fact that hawksbill sea turtle is considered as a critically endangered species, we felt that Upper Reef is a marine environment where hopes for saving this kind of species can be found. 
their beautiful gold and brown pattern shell, often called a tortoise shell, are greatly threatened of haunting and selling illegally on the black market just to make ornaments, jewelries, and other decorative items. And if this trade continued, this living creature representing the group of reptiles that has existed on the Earth's ocean for the last 100 years will be perished and will surely affect the balance of the marine ecosystem for they are the fundamental link and helps to have a healthy coral reefs and seagrass beds as they mainly eat sponges being extracted from the reefs. We also saw a giant barrel sponges, which are called the red wood of the reef. Due to its size that may reach over one meter tall, sponges are sicile animals, which means they are stationarily attached themselves to a rock or the seafloor and feed by filtration. These giant barrel sponges are designed to filter 50,000 times its own volume of water every day that increase water clarity, controlling algae, and facilitating reef regeneration. It really has a vital role not just for the ocean, but also for divers like us that are passionate to understand marine life. As we continue our dive, we passed by a lot of sea fans, which are a type of soft coral that often found in warm waters. These are colonial animals that are so beautiful, branching structure that is covered by soft tissue. Its reproduction is quite interesting because they reproduce by releasing large quantities of eggs and sperm in the water and can be distributed far forming new colonies as it anchors itself to a rock or hard substrate. This characteristic of them creates a colorful and attractive presence calming you while scuba diving near a coral reef. Citing the critically endangered hawksbill sea turtle, giant barrel sponges and sea fans prove that Apo Reef is one of the most protected marine areas in good condition so far. In Apo Reef, uh, it's, it's one of the reefs where you still can find uh, good condition reefs, meaning you have uh, high coral cover in general, compared to the other reefs in the Philippines. Welcome your second dive called Apo Minor. Yeah, and this is the slope dive and plateau wall. We call the others call this one is shark airfield. Then after that one, we we'll reach the airfield area. Slowly down. Sometimes the shark will be sleeping that area. Okay. Then after we go in, going up to the slope area, 
In the shallow, it's around 10 meters and continue with the dive time 50 to 60 minutes and we'll do 3 minutes if we stop in the 5 meters. Sharks are the ocean's most misunderstood creature. Maybe because of the movies that give a bad impression to sharks, being usually connoted and portrayed as wild predators or killing machines. But this dive site here in Apo Reef called the Apo Minor, which is known to be the shark's airfield, will be somehow enlighten you why this marine megafauna or large animals are indicators of a healthy ocean. Uh, in Apo Reef, uh, and perhaps in Tobataha, uh, th these are the only reef systems where you can find uh, a lot of uh, megafauna. Uh, like sharks, bigger sharks, you have uh, Napoleon wrasse, bumphead parrotfish in those areas. And we have also a lot of uh, sea turtles, manta rays. As apex predators, they maintain the species below them in the food chain by removing the weak and the sick as keeping the balance and ensuring the species diversity. The abundance of the megafauna, it tells us that that particular reef system is uh, pristine, meaning it can support the populations of a lot of our uh, megafauna. Here in Apo Menor, or the shark airfield, we went down to 27 meters. The dive was a little bit suspense, whether we will see the sharks, because in the wild, there is no guarantee. Everything is unpredictable. The dive team just waited for a moment, hoping to see one. After minutes of roaming, we saw one lying on the ocean floor. It's a white tip shark. It was a breathtaking chance to get up close with the apex predator of the ocean. Then, a few minutes later, another white tip shark showed up. Its name was derived because of the tips of its spectral, first dorsal, pelvic, and caudal fins are often white. White tip sharks are also called as the dark night of the ocean. They tend to hunt mostly at night time. Through, they will be opportunistically fed during the day if an easy meal presents itself. I got to see two white tip sharks and a couple of fusiliers, beautiful coral reefs. And we also did some coral rescue, which is one of the most important things when you dive, is you do some conservation on site.
Before traveling back to Afar Reef Club Resort, we had another shallow dive in a shipwreck. This will complete our diving journey here in the Afar Reef. Guys, welcome for your last dive for today. This is our third dive. We called shipwreck. It's a shallow dive in this area. The maximum depth is only 10 meters. The ship is in under in the boat. It's easy to find. And we will go jump in the water and we go down together. The history of this boat is around 70 years sunk in this area. We will do dump it and see you at the dive. Our last dive at the shipwreck here at Apple Reef Natural Park. Yes. Yeah, looking forward for a very beautiful dive. Okay. Let's go. The wreck, which is an unidentified ship, has been here in the upper reef for more than 70 years. That is why it's completely covered by colorful hard and soft corals resting in upright position in just 10 meters. This decaying hook become home to blizzards of reef fish. In that area, you, you notice na sandy yung other side, right? So for many sessile marine organisms, they need hard substrate, stable hard substrate, where they can settle and attach and then grow and then later on reproduce and then again settle. Uh, that's one of the main requirements for their uh, existence. So. That's why you can see a lot of uh, coral, soft corals, and other organisms attaching onto the, uh, like what you mentioned, shipwreck. It has a hole where you can go inside. Just an extra careful shall be considered while going down. We were able to go through a hollow space that gives us a three-dimensional diving experience Shipwrecks, maybe there are some places where you can see that shipwrecks are really, I mean, adding substrate for other marine organisms to attach to, and it added uh, beauty or like uh, scenery for divers to look at. So perhaps in that area, uh, there's no really good, uh, what's this, source of larvae that can settle onto those shipwreck or materials. As we explored the wreck, we saw a crocodile fish lying below. This elongated fish relies on its subdued coloration and disruptive markings to blend seamlessly into its environment. Crocodile fishes are bottom-dwelling ambush hunters, which feed largely on smaller fish. It naturally remains motionless, 
until small prey is within striking distance. So we get up close with it as it keeps still even when we are getting closer towards it. And because of the abundance of both soft and hard corals dominating the surface of the wreck, there are a variety of reef fishes can be found like Antias. fossil ears, and sweet lips due to the sustainability of their food. Corals are, I mean, they serve as food and shelter for many smaller reef fishes. And these reef fishes, uh, they serve as food for the bigger fish. And bigger fish are uh, food for uh, bigger marine animals, megafauna, sharks, and so on. So. There's a connection between uh, corals, the health of corals, and the populations of the different uh, fishes in different sizes. So if your corals die, uh, there, there'll be no shelter or food for many smaller reef fishes that are uh, food to many bigger or large-bodied fish. The healthy management and conservation of this marine biodiversity is now a vital issue facing humankind, presenting a real challenge today. Based on the most recent uh, reef assessment conducted uh, in the Philippines, headed by uh, Dr. Wilfredo Liquanan, uh, most of our reefs are already in poor condition, uh, meaning their uh, coral cover is very low and there are very few uh, reef fishes uh, found on those reef systems. And a lot of our reefs have very few numbers of the what we call uh, megafauna or reef fishes that are bigger in size. Climate change and pollution are the major factors that affects the health and function of our reefs. This kind of problem needs to take immediate action for we cannot tell up to until when marine life can survive. The consequences that marine biodiversity may encounter are irreversible, but we can still interchange by protecting and preserving today's marine ecosystem. Since most of our reefs are degraded, uh, we encourage uh, towns or local government units to establish uh, marine protected areas. So in areas where you have uh, more advanced marine protected areas, meaning they've been protected for a long time, uh, you notice that sharks or bigger fish are already uh, becoming more abundant. You can already see some sharks. So that's an indication that you have uh, good or a pristine reef. We are thankful to dive in the Apple Reef for it gives us more motivation and dedication to keep up and nurture a livable marine ecosystem. Of course, through Apple Reef's Glove Live Aboard, where you can meet the passionate owner, Michael Ross, the man behind the Barangay Concepcion, to have their own marine protected area. It's very easy if you want to dive with Apple. Uh, just email us, go to the website uh, www.upperreefclub.com and you find us there. We will help you to have this great experience with one of the best diving in the Philippines.
This past two days has been an unforgettable experience for me and my team. There was no signal, but the connection to nature was so strong. It gave us a deeper understanding of the fragile blue heart of the planet, which is the ocean. And we are blessed to have this incredible experience. Thank you very much, Upper Reef Club and the people of Mindoro. Well, that's another 30 minutes of exploration. Until next week for more diving and traveling, only here at The Dive! It's the wonder of God's creation that makes us believe. See you.